to vlogmas week one day one it's the first of december and i am going to be doing weekly vlogmases this year again i did that last year as well um so yeah that just works the best for me it is i have not vlogged only yesterday actually um and i went for i had work and then i went for like some drinks with one of the girls from the farm and then i went on i think it was a day but i'm not sure drinks um and then i just came home and faced my time with my grandma because i've not spoken to her in a while and then um went to bed because i was super tired but yes uh <laughs> not sure if it was a day but he's asked to see me again and we've hung out a few times but um Maybe I'll keep posted on that. Uh, why not? You know, it's fun. So I am just outside of work. I'm about to go in. But I was just eat my breakfast. I don't like to eat outside because it's not actually too bad of weather. It was just raining and now it's not. So Melbourne weather, you know. But yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do after work. But I will see you then. Good morning, guys. I've now finished work and I just did my food shop. And in my food shop. If you, in Woolworths, if you spend over $30 um, in Woolworths Metro anyways, you get a free coffee. So I've got myself a nice little soy latte. Delightful. I also today picked up some new moisturiser. I picked up this Nivea Naturally Good with organic argan oil night cream. Um, I find that night creams are a bit thicker, which is what I like. But yeah, I decided to give this one a little go. It was cheap, so I was like, I'll do, I'll do. I also, as it's, sorry, I feel like I'm like, as it's the 1st of December, and obviously I don't have an advent calendar this year because I'm not home and I can't carry one around. I bought myself some little lints and I'm gonna have one each day and that's gonna be like my little advent calendar. Um, I'm gonna charge my phone and watch some more of The Princess Switch 3. The Christmas film with Vanessa Hudgens. Drink my coffee, and then I think we're going to see our friends at BNB tonight. So I may show you a little clip of that. But yeah, that's it for now. I'm just gonna watch my film. I have just got back. We went to that cool little bar, which was called Daddy's home house or something um i didn't drink but the guy the two lads i was with they had a beer but i'm broke and didn't really fancy drinking but it was a cool vibe to go and yeah i had a really fun afternoon i'm now gonna make go make wraps for dinner and then i'm probably gonna watch a film and go to bed to be honest so i will see you tomorrow or oh, i might actually film a clip of my wraps why not i've just hit 10k on tiktok <gasps> my one goal this year was to hit 10k and i've fucking done it i'm on 10k oh my god oh my god i next next want to hit 500k likes and i'm currently on uh let me see 424.3k i can't believe i've hit 10k that's insane if any of you are here from my tiktok thank you so so much for following me it honestly means the world and i can't wait to just have more and more people on board of my tiktok and creating content like what the actual fuck <laughs> yes <laughs> Um, so yeah, 
I that was such a nice little catch up and we just had one drink but we literally talked shit for like an hour and a half um and it was so good I love that I've missed her a lot um and we actually realized that we think we're going to be in Melbourne like long term next year together so that'll be really fun um but we are actually now going to go out tonight <laughs> not like massively just for some like drinks and I was like yeah why not I'll come um so it's five now and we're going out for eight I think um so got a few things I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna eat dinner and put some makeup on my face and then we're gonna go out to Fitzroy so that'll be fun I don't know what to say I don't know how to explain myself I did not film a single bloody thing didn't even film when I was ready last time. Didn't even. Not even a single video when I was out. Oh my god. <laughs> um, basically, we just went to like. We actually only ended up going to like two bars because it was dead. And then we came back into the city because we were in like a suburb out of the city. We came back into the city and we were like. Oh, do you know what? Can't be asked. Um, because we're meant to be going for drinks tonight as well. And like with more of us, I just went with my friend and her sister last night. And then, um, yeah, tonight we're going to be going out more. Um, so we're like, let's just save it for tonight. So, sorry about that. I don't know what happened there, to be honest. Uh, must have had just a brain, brain fog. A brain block. I'm not sure even if it makes sense. But yeah, I've just done my F45 class and now I'm on my way to work. Um, I start at 10 today, so that was nice. I've got a bit of a line to the gym at 8.15, so yeah. But let's get this working day done and then I've got tomorrow off. Thank Hi God. guys, uh, it is a lot later on. I have tried to film this clip multiple times and it's failed each and every time. So I'm just going to speak from that. So I've got a lot of family stuff going on right now and it is making it incredibly, incredibly hard to not be at home with them all. Um, it's really a time when we should all be united and being together, but obviously I am 10,000 miles away from home and a 24 hour flight. So it's not that easy to just jump on a plane and go home that would be quite a big commitment to go home and apart from that family stuff there's no other reasons i want to go home and there's nothing i could do with being whilst being at home um it just sucks because i would love to give my dad a cut hug and just be there with all everyone but I can't be so I feel like I've been really really trying to keep myself busy and distract myself like making plans with literally anyone and everyone not that I don't want to hang out with them obviously I do but just trying to fill my days and my evenings with things to do so that I am not thinking constantly thinking about everything that's going on back home um I wanted to be real about that because I do like these vlogs to be very real and open and honest and I think also if people are watching these thinking I'm gonna come to Australia and they see everything I'm doing I'm like oh my god that's amazing they're not gonna see the sides that is really really hard and I think I want to be a bit more obvious like a bit more sort of like open and honest about them parts so you can see that side of traveling because traveling is incredible but it's not all easy and there are some really really shitty times and some really shitty situations that you're in um so yeah i'm not sure what i'm doing tonight um not sure if i'm going out or what i'm doing so yeah but i will keep you posted i'm currently just waiting for my washing to be done and drinking coffee 
washed my hair I haven't done my parting very well though so I need to do that so yeah hopefully that made sense but yeah I just want to be a bit more open with you guys because you guys mean everything to me oh my god Casper and Tim's wedding video is out and I'm so excited that I'm going to react to it because I am oh, I'm so excited to watch this so I cried all over again it just brought back all the emotions like it was such an emotional but incredible day it was definitely my favorite day in Australia for sure and I don't know it just brought back all of those emotions again and oh such a beaut day such a beaut day the best so happy for them too alone no I'm joking I am genuinely like oh, watching that again was incredible and I just want to relive that day to be honest I would do anything to go back to that day because it was so fun right the plan has been decided I am going to go out with Sam and AD and maybe their friend Sylvia not 100% sure um we're gonna just go to a chill little pub and then see how we feel we might just want to have a few drinks but to be honest that's kind of good um because I'm not 100% sure if I want to go on a full night out so yeah sorry I'm eating a rhubarb and custard sweet aren't they just elite um so yeah I'm gonna start getting ready um i will show you when i'm ready hopefully <laughs> i never want to promise you something because i think under promise over deliver is that the saying i think it is so yeah let's get ready right good evening guys i am now out i'm already um i've got this little, little black dress on and i'm just going to look at the bottle but yeah, I faced my parents also, that was really nice to have a little party and catch up with them, tell them everything's going on in my life. Because every time I speak to them there's always something new. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to have a few drinks tonight and just see where the night takes us. What looks like I the girls bought because I didn't get to my round last night. Um, so I bought the prospecto so I was like I can do that, that's fine by me. Um, so yeah, I can't go over the weather today. Like, I'm wearing a jacket, but I'm so hot. I'm only wearing it because I can't be asked to carry it to us. But the weather is so nice. Like, so nice. It's actually hot. I'm sweating. Oh, Melbourne, this is the weather I was looking for, mate. <laughs> morning <laughs> I got way 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 drunk up there than I was expected to um yeah way drunk up <laughs> and it's now half one and I have only just been able to get a live like get myself out of the house but I'm gonna go and do the sun but first I'm and a coffee because I have not eaten today I'm starving and I need coffee and I've gone past this bagel shop for every day week pretty much um, and he's like mm, I need a bagel from that so that's what we're going to do and that's going to cure a hangover and then we're going to go sunbathe <laughs> Sorry, but how amazing does that look? So I got balsamic mushrooms. So it's got like caramelised onion, mushroom, rocket, like oh my god, heaven. And then an iced soy vanilla latte. 
Oh my god, yes. Let's let's give this a go because this looks incredible. The worst angle. I also got a um, sesame bun. So. Oh my god, that's unreal. That is unreal. No, I'm gonna sit. No, I'm gonna eat this. I found a little green spot outside the um, state library. And then we're gonna go to the beach. This is lunch, this is the vibes I needed today, to be honest. Really is. What's going on? I like filming, but why? Go for it, Queens. Go for it. This is the beach that I came to in Sunbathe. That is called Albert Beach. Um, it was pretty nice. But it is so hot, and I'm going to head off um, because I'm going to go meet Chris and Mateus at a pub in Brunswick. I'm not going to drink, but I'm just going to go catch up with them and see how they are. Um, so I'm going to leave now and maybe go rinse off. when I'm on the tram to say to come then I'll just go straight there. So yes, but it's nice to sit in the sun. Good morning. So I'm not gonna lie to you, I didn't film anything else yesterday because my anxiety, or anxiety, got so bad yesterday. Like I just, I just felt so sad. I mean, I get it a lot when I'm drunk and I think it is very, very common when I'm drunk, when I'm hungover. I don't think it is very, very common, but yeah, I just felt very like, and anxious and stuff. So I decided not to film anymore. I didn't really do anything anyway. I went and caught up with Chris and Mateus, um, but I went home after like two hours because I was just exhausted and yeah, needed to sleep. And then this morning, uh, I got up and I went to the gym at half six um, because I was meant to have work. I was in the shower and my manager rang me. Obviously didn't pick up. She texted me saying, hey Hayley, don't come in. It's not too busy. Are you joking? Are you joking? So I could have literally stayed in bed, not gone to the gym at half six. But it was fine because I just got back, to be honest, I got back into bed and it slept for a few more hours until like 11 um and i really needed that sleep so it's actually now 20 past 12. um so yeah i definitely needed that little that little sleep i am gonna go to a little coffee shop and do some editing and some content stuff um and then yeah we'll see where the rest of the day it takes us to be honest i'm hoping i can buy like a little cafe that I can sit in for a bit because I want to go to like a non chainy one. Like I could just go and sit at Starbucks, but I can have Starbucks anywhere. You know? I don't know. It took me a little while, like nearly an hour, <laughs> just to find a cafe that had like a white high five. I'm to a place called Rust. I'm going to just hold it for you because I'm using the tea. So, yeah, so that's the vibe of today. But little waffy show up I am now back well actually I've been back a little while but I was just chilling in my bed which actually did I show you that I've now got the bottom double bed steel although the pillow is so thin horrendous but i do now have a double bed so so nice so good so nice um i put my hair in plaits because i am in fact going out tonight <laughs> after saying i was violently hungover still this morning this has been in plan for a while so i bought a um a bottle of wine because <laughs> me and sam who i've been out with all this weekend actually um i'm gonna pre-drink here in a little bit 
and then we're gonna go to bingo at one of the other hostels so that will be that will be fun um hopefully we can get in <laughs> and yeah i'm gonna start get ready get... whoa did i just glitch <laughs> i'm going to start getting ready so i'll probably catch up with you when i'm ready to be honest or should i put you on a time lapse oh i don't know no no i won't um i'll just show you when i'm ready I just quickly made some like rice and beans i know am i on i'm a celeb um because we're going out a lot earlier than we expected and i haven't eaten and i keep going out drinking with no food like on an empty stomach so i was like i'm not doing that tonight so i'm gonna quickly eat this then just get ready because i'm only like i've only done my eyes and then yeah i've also put my hair in plaits like this so hopefully it like curls a bit because my straighteners are still not here right i am ready i'm just wearing this little like green body dress um has vibes my hair is First, then went to the gym, and then I just see washed my hair, done my makeup, um, put this little green dress on because it's actually quite nice and sunny today. Um, and I'm heading to Willie's just to get a little protein bar for lunch because it's like 20 to 3 and I'm going out to dinner with some friends at 5, so I don't need loads. And then we're gonna head to Sky Deck for the last night was so fun like I think it was fun. I didn't win anything at, but to be honest there was four rounds and I think I paid attention to like the first one and then we were all just so drunk that we were like we don't know what's going on um but it was so much fun like so fun I would definitely recommend it because yeah we had a lot of lot of fun so yeah let me get my protein bar and then we will head to Sky Deck uh, this is the one I went for. If anyone cares, you probably don't, but yeah, this is the one I went for. I usually get the chocolate mud cake one, so I don't think I've tried this on camera, but I'll be back. I've made it and I'm very, very excited. Um, yeah, let's go see Melbourne. This is cool, there's like all the other massive towers in the world. It's like, and like today, there's one Tokyo. Hotel I work at. This is so good. We're going to dinner later. But yeah, I am enjoying this weather. I enjoyed that sky deck. I think it makes the city seem a lot more, a lot smaller and a lot more bearable. Like, it makes it puts into perspective how close together things are. And I don't know. I definitely think if you're 
feeling overwhelmed with this city. Go and do something like that because it shows you that actually it's not as big as it may feel to you. And yeah, I was kind of looking at things like, oh, I visited that. I didn't realise that was close to that. And yeah, but it was cool and it was cool to see Melbourne in that way. I have to get a little coffee because I've been to try this place for ages. Pretty in it. I wanted to come and see it just because why not? Um, but it's quite grand actually. I don't know actually if I can think what Parliament in London looks like. No, I think I do, but I'm sure it's not as pretty as this. Everywhere else just does it better, don't they? But then maybe I think that because it's my country and I'm like, not that fussed by it. Oh my god, doing this reminds me of Lynn's. Um, oh, miss you, girl, if you're watching this. Doing this, she took loads of photos like this. <laughs> that reminds me of her. Oh, I miss her a lot. I'm not gonna get upset. I'm gonna be fun. <laughs> Made it to Yarra Botanica. This is where we eat dinner. I mean Casper, who if you've watched my videos, you know I stayed there for three weeks. And then another girl from camp called Tink, who we've not seen, she's from New Zealand and we've not seen her in five years. So, and she now lives in Melbourne, so that's been really, really fun. So, yeah, I'll hopefully get some clips of the food and stuff to show you. I'm excited to see them. Oh, God and catch up. I've got some Casper since her hunting, so. He no, I love it now. Good morning. Um, I did not really film anything last night dinner, but I did film a little clip. We were just literally having a massive catch up. Like I said, we've not seen Tink in five years. So it was so nice to have a big catch up with her. Um, I am actually staying at hers next week from Sunday until I leave next Thursday. So that'll be really nice. Um, and <laughs> I will never say no to say staying in a flat and not a hostel. So yeah, we just had some sherry dinner and then some drinks. And then after me and Tink went for another drink, but Kat's had to go home because she had like an hour drive home. So that's fair enough. Um, but yeah, and then I literally just went back home and went to bed. It is so early this morning, it's like quarter past seven. I start work at quarter to eight because I am helping out at an event today. Um, I have no idea what the event is. I think it's just some sort of like commercial working event, I don't know. I'm just helping out at it and it's like a 10 hour day, so I'm gonna be exhausted. <laughs> um, and I'm not gonna be vlogging much today, but I am going to the Vic Markets tonight with friend from early so hopefully I'll get some clips of that. Um, yeah I had a really nice night last night. It was so good to catch up and stuff and just chat about camp and life. <laughs> um, yeah so it's very early to be looking like this that's fine but I'm just sat on the south promenade. I'm gonna eat my banana um, and my Velveeta is getting his breakfast and then we're gonna go this day. It's gonna be long. But hopefully it goes fast. I am done for the day. That was the easiest money I have ever made. It was so boring. All I was doing all day was sat there. Genuinely sat there. I did nothing. Nothing. I just sat on my phone. <laughs> so it's the easiest money I've ever made, but it was really boring. And then we got a two hour lunch break, which was paid. And then we got let off an hour early, but we're still being paid that extra that last hour. So, to be honest, I can't really complain. Um, but yeah, because I've come home early, I'm going to go to the gym and then I'm going to pop to...
pop to. Then I'm gonna go meet my friend at the Vic Market. But my straightness came. <gasps> so I'm gonna open them. I'm so excited. But do you know what I did realise? So obviously I've bought these in Australia. So they're gonna have an Australian plug, which is fine. But when I go home, I'm gonna have to buy an adapter for my own home. <laughs> I just thought I was so funny. <gasps> I'm so excited. Oh, so exciting. I've not had new straighteners in years. Like, years. <gasps> they are beautiful. Oh my god, they're beautiful. Mm. Oh my god, yes, and they come with one of these things. <gasps> Oh my god, I can't wait to use them. Oh, I reckon I'll be able to curl my hair now with these. So exciting! So exciting, man. Oh my god, I'm so happy. But yeah, day was really easy and easy money, to be honest. And met some really nice girls, really nice. Um, and then this one guy um, who was from Scotland, he was really nice as well. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna head to the gym and then we'll go have some fun. But I just wanted to unbox these and especially um, when there's no one in here. So I've just basically rambled really quickly. That's why, because I wanted to do that while no one was in here. Gym done, now straight to the big market. It's all about balance. Balance. Dumplings place like you saw, it was so good, but I could not eat all of that food. So I've got some in the Tupperware box and I can eat it for lunch tomorrow. Um but yeah, such a nice catch up with him. Me and him got on really well in early. Um but we've never actually seen each other sober. Like we would chat and stuff and we would message whoever. Um yeah, so nice. I love him so cute. But yeah, I'm gonna go to bed now because I again all day tomorrow and i'm actually going to end this vlog here and start a new one i hope you enjoyed vlogmas for week one um i actually did get about this december because this does not look like this at all um so yeah i will see you in my next video guys and